Why the f is your cat? That's freaky. Is somebody trying to hack into my computer? No, what is that? It sounds like an alien trying to hijack into he, Like, he's literally he's just doing alien. work on his computer. Every time he unmutes Yo, it, aliens it are trying to talk to us. What's going on, guys? Hope you guys are having the most blessed day of your entire lives. We're back! With another video, the dogs are already barking because they just heard me yelling. Uh, before we get started with this video, I know my sideburns are gone. I know that, and I will ask you all to refrain from judging me and making fun of me. It's tough times, okay? Sometimes your barber ain't out. Your barber's not here, and you gotta take things into your own hand, and that's okay. But what had happened was I took things into my own hands with my own haircut, and it obviously went wrong. And then I found out that barber shops are opening up on Friday in three days. Barber shops are opening up. If I waited three days, I'd have sideburns. Guys, I miss you guys a lot. I know I haven't posted in a while, but we are back. I've been MIA for a little bit. I apologize for that. I know I shouldn't have been MIA, but I was, and I apologize, but I have good reason one i haven't been sleeping well at all because i've just been having these crazy ass nightmares lately they do all revolve around what's been going on in the condo in the house now that stuff has stopped i've been having issues with my cameras lately so i actually bought a new lens which is why things look a little bit different i'll film cameras will turn off the lens gets all jittery so i'm just like losing footage so i tried to buy a new lens hopefully this lens gives us an opportunity to film more I hope just because the other lenses would I, I'd be filming I'd go into the closet or something and they get all jittery and stuff like that and I didn't know if it's from like the electromagnetic frequencies of the ghosts or if it was from the lens so I went and I bought a new lens and hopefully this fixes some of our issues let me talk quickly about what's been going on with my nightmares so I've been having these nightmares of Mary and some of the other things that have been going around but I don't really remember the other dreams I just remember one in particular one my the dreams are horrifying they're they're very very scary i don't remember too much about them i just remember being very scared i remember my emotions i don't remember what i saw i wake up sweaty cold and scared every night uh that's mainly the reason why i haven't been filming a lot because i haven't had the actual energy to film if you guys have noticed on instagram i haven't been posting a lot of stories either i've just been kind of like reposting stories because i i literally just have no energy like this thing is draining me from these nightmares the one that i remember mostly is i woke up and mary was standing at the end of my bed and she'd pull me like like she'd innocently pull me like she just kind of like grabbed my wrist and pull me into the closet and it was like a, a pathway somewhere like we went into the closet and somehow it, there's just more to it into the closet i looked to my right and then it was just this long 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 corridor and we just kept going and going it was just blackness and you just heard screaming and and yelling i was pretty much paralyzed with fear but i, I kept walking with uh with mary my first thought was like holy f i'm scared of but then I was like, Mary's not a demon. I think Mary is a ghost. I don't think Moloch is Mary. I think it's just a spirit that's been attached to this doll. But to, to tell you what I saw, like we, we kept going down this corridor, this I, corridor is the best word that I could use to explain it. But we kept going down this, this corridor. I heard screaming, I heard yelling, I heard calls for help. I felt scared. It felt very, very hot. And at, at the end, it was just kind of like, you saw red. So it was like, like the opening had a, like a, a, a white border. Or like, you know, when you look down a tunnel and you can see sunlight on the outside, but the, the inner part was like red, orangey. We never made it to the end, but it was very, very frightening. I can actually hear the screaming right now as I think of it, and I can feel the heat. I haven't actually told Emma about it. We're gonna do a ritual in a little bit. Emma is here, she's doing her own thing. So if you guys do hear any shuffling around or, or talking, it might not be from whatever we're doing, Doing, it could be from what Emma's doing. Like, I don't want you guys to hear something and then be like, was that a ghost? Did Mary say something? Real and realistic, it was, it was Emma ordering pizza or something. I don't want you guys to think that Mary's out here ordering Uber Eats to my house. So that being said, uh, we're back. I'm gonna try to get back on my regular schedule. I'm just gonna try to force myself to film with the energy that I have. Got some caffeine pills. I'm hoping these are gonna help me a lot. Today, we are going to be doing one of two rituals. Uh, one was called the Black Helen ritual, which is kind of similar to Bloody Mary. And the other one was a Red Book challenge. I want to go with the Black Helen ritual, I think. Yeah, that's a new ritual. Let's try that. That'll be a lot of fun. So I'm going to go do that. Um, I'll take you guys with me to the washroom. 
But before we get started, you guys do me a massive favor. You guys to like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on post notifications. Follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok. Guys, I, I am like uploading to my second channel. Check that out. Your boy's been posting some good content to the second channel. I know you guys are going to love it. If you guys are really interested in some of the stuff that me and Emma do outside of filming like the, the scary videos, be sure to check out the vlog because we do a lot of fun stuff. You're going to see a lot of the guys. You'll see Danny, Sarji, Kazzy, the dog, Emma. You'll see a lot of fun stuff. So be sure to check out Plenty of Alley. Link in the description below. Emma hid Rice Krispies in the house somewhere and I gotta go find them. He checked the back of a toilet, literally lifted the top of the back of a toilet, thinking that I would hide food in the back of a toilet. I love you. I love you. Do you want me to tell you? Okay. Yeah? Yeah. So you admit defeat? Say it. I admit defeat. Yes! This lens is also really cool because it's kind of wide angle, so it's going to give you guys a different perspective of the condo, which is going to be really cool. So I'm going to head into the washroom. Can I just show you guys how freaking adorable this guy is? I love you. I, oh wow, I'm so zoomed in right now. Yo, stop checking out my sideburns, they're gone. Okay, they're gone, they're not coming back. I need you guys to just accept it. It hurts so much. All right, I'm hoping this one stays still this time. I'm literally sitting on the toilet while talking to you guys. You know how weird that is? It's really weird to sit on a toilet open hole with like pants on. So apparently the black, Helen Ritual is similar to a game that is played in Sweden called Savarta Madame or Savarta Madame, which translates to the lady in black, which is actually very fitting since we saw a woman in black. Like Bloody Mary, there are numerous variations on how exactly the game should be played. They range from simply standing in front of a mirror chanting, Savera Madame, I don't believe in you, or Savera Madame, daughter of the devil, show yourself. There are a couple things that I find notable about this game in relation to others. The fact that one of the chants is specifically about you not believing in her. And then the second one, personally me, that I see is that the fact that she's the daughter of the devil? What? So essentially what this post is saying that Black Helen and Savara Madame, which translate to Lady in Black, are very similar and could actually be regional based game. So it could be the American version of the Swedish game. So we need at least two principles, one scribe and one or more speakers. I'm gonna have to do both. A mirror that is large enough to be able to see your entire face reflected back at you when you look into it. That bad boy right there. A room in which you are likely to not be disturbed. I'm in here. Uh, this room must have at least one lamp or light or a source of light, which it does. A sterilized pin, a lighter, and a black marker. Again, at any time, which is great. It's uh, oh, it's almost 9 p.m. Blah, 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 blah. The summoning. Let's get to that. So once the door has been closed, have all players chant out loud, Black Helen, chant this name a total of three times in unison. So I'm gonna start chanting it here. Since it's only me, I think it'll be okay, but I need you guys, if you guys want, to chant along at home. Black Helen, Black Helen, Black Helen. Next, the speaker must speak out loud the first question, where is she? Where is she? After the first question is asked, the scribe must draw a stick figure on the mirror. The stick figure may be painted anywhere on the mirror, or the stick figure should be no taller than the length of your index finger. Okay, so I guess I have to actually draw her. So I've drawn her stick figure. This is such a bizarre game. Uh, next, the speaker must speak out loud in unison. Where are her eyes? Where are her eyes? After the speaker has asked the second question, the scribe must give this dick figure eyes. To do so, oh wow, okay. Um, I have to go get a pin and prick my finger and then press my finger on the wall. I'm gonna go do that, be right back. Ow. Heck, f hurt. You guys can kinda see it there. Next, the speaker must speak out loud, where are her friends? After the speaker has asked the third question, the scribe must either light the lighter or use the lighter to the candle. The scribe must hold the flame next to the stick figure and speak their own name out loud. I gotta go get the lighter now. This is exactly why you're supposed to read all the rules first and not go blah, 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 blah. After the speaker has asked the third question, the scribe must either light or use the lighter. The scribe must hold the flame to the stick figure and speak their own name out loud, since I'm doing both. Allie, 
The scribe should then pass the lighter or candle to the speaker. The speaker must hold his flame to the stick figure and speak their own name out loud. Tally! Again. Oh, wow, okay. Um, literally, step 10 is do not let the flame go out at any point. Next, the speaker must speak out loud. Where is she now? Now I have to say, where is she now? Out loud. And then I have to turn off the lights and then say Black Helen six times. And then I say, you can come out now after I finish that chant. And then I just have to wait for a bit. Where is she now? Black Helen, Black Helen, Black Helen, Black Helen, Black Helen, Black Helen, Black Helen. You can come out now. I swear something just touched my leg. I swear to God, something just touched my leg. Is there a cat in here? Bro, I swear to God, something touched my leg. Something actually legitimately just touched my leg. I'm doing whatever I can right now. Oh, I should not be doing that, but I'm trying to do whatever I can right now to not let this flame go out. And I'm really spooked because I do not want this flame to go out. Um, and it's really hard because I'm trying to read the next steps of the ritual, but it's hard to do because I can't let the flame go out. Uh, it's freezing in here right now, by the way. And the AC is not even on, and I swear to God, all the windows in the house are open right now. Um, okay, I got, I got, a, I'm gonna bid for a while. Um, okay, so. I'm so scared, I'm literally on my knees right now. When you're ready to bid for a while, have the scribe hand the lighter or candle off to a speaker. The scribe must be the one to contain her. Since I'm the scribe, I literally have to set this up like this. And I'm gonna have that there. Holy crap. Ow, 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 ow. I have to draw a cage around her here. Okay. The scribe must be the one to speak the following words. Black Helen, I, bi I bid you farewell. Black Helen, I bid you farewell. And then I have to wipe down all of it. So as you guys can see, I have drawn that on there. And now I have to wipe down the freaking thing. Oh my God, this is very, very difficult. Okay, that's good. It's still cold. It says literally, it says here that I should wait until she's gone and I see nothing but my own reflection in the mirror and the chills are gone, but I, it's still cold in here, man. I'm gonna ask Emma if she's cold in here. Yo, I'm, I'm like legit freaking out. It's been about 15 minutes and it's still freezing in here. I've turned on the light. I, I even opened the door to let some like good air in. I've turned on the ventilation and that's not working either. Emma's on her way to come and confirm that it is freezing in here for you guys. The other thing is that I want to mention, I'm working on my editing skills. I'm trying to edit the video so that it's more entertaining for you guys. You might see more cuts. I'm trying to cut out the unnecessary stuff in my videos. Let me know in the comment section below if you guys like it like this or if you guys don't. If you guys just want me to do the regular videos where I don't do any cuts because I've been watching my analytics. I I'm trying to see where you guys are, are watching and where you guys aren't watching. And I'm finding that a lot of you guys aren't watching some of the stuff that I'm leaving in. So let me know if you guys want me to cut that out like I'm doing in this video. I'm going to try to make this video very properly edited where there's no ums, there's no buts, there's no bluff, there's no dead air, dead silence. Silence. There's no me just doing this stuff like that. So let me know in the comment section below what you think if I should keep doing them like this or if I should go back to how I had them before. I love you guys and whether you guys like it like this or not, I still respect and love your opinion. So please let me know because I'm just trying to get better for you guys. Oh, it's, somebody's in here. Get it? Like as if I was pooping. You were pooping. Smell it. It's not me. That's is that smell. Do you feel how cold it is? It's freezing in here, dude. Yeah. Did you, you turn the AC on or something? No. Yeah. I'm gonna show you guys the thermostat right now. Look at that. What does that say? 20 degrees. But it's in freezing. here, it's absolutely freezing. What's in the drain? That's my blood. In the drain? Yeah. Hey, whatever the lady sitting over there. It's okay. Whoa. You're okay. <sighs> So what did you say? You, sorry, I'm literally half asleep right now. I woke up to Emma screaming and crying. Uh, she woke me up. There was like a lady, like I woke up and 
like it was really cold and so I woke up because it was freezing and then I like it was so cold I could see my breath babe and then this babe this I looked like I just looked around and I looked over at the thermostat to see if the air conditioning was on and there was a lady standing there right beside you she said at you. she said it was standing like right there and that it went into the office after you see you saw it turn you it saw it turned and walked you saw her turn and walk or it turned like it was well like it was a like it looked like a female but like i can't say that it was Yeah, baby. I'm right here. I'm right here. I don't see anything. It doesn't look like. I don't think anybody's here. Um, I don't know if this has anything to do with the game that we played in the washroom or not. I hope it doesn't. Wait. Wearing a dress. It's all right. And she, it was a long black dress. Like you could barely see her because she, her dress was covering her. Um, okay, so we're gonna deal with this. Um, I'll if I'll give you guys an update if anything happens throughout the night. I don't feel um, good. Okay, baby, I'm good. It's okay. It's okay. Last night was pretty insane, I guess. But the I need you guys to see something on my back because that mark is back and it is burning. I've never seen it that prominent since the day I got it. Hold on. That mark there is back and it, it hurts. Like it feels like that area is throbbing right now. Um, and it hasn't been that bad for a while. So I, I don't know what that means, but with the stuff that happened last night, I don't think it's a good sign. Emma, what is your diagnosis? Oh, he's a freaking idiot. What the fork did you just say? This is a family friendly channel. You get that mean, wow. Okay. Uh